Welcome to another video. Today I wanted to show virtualization performance running virtual Windows guest machines in QEMU with KVM virtualization on Linux. One thing to keep in mind, so I have here screen capturing running in the background. We have some 30 to 40 percent load with some GPU assistant video screen capturing going on here. And this is not the fastest CPU. So this is a Intel Core i7 7600U Ultrabook tablet kind of CPU with only two cores and four hyper threads. So this is not workstation class performance at all. Yet I wanted to show how well this still is suitable as a portable developer machine, especially running Linux SEO OS. So terminal design power TDP is 15 watts, apparently some configurable TDP of up to 25 watts. Like all the new Intel CPUs, it also comes with this Intel QuickSync for video encoding and decoding and that is what I'm actually using here otherwise without GPU assistant encode the, all the cores would have already 50% load. I actually tried this yesterday and it was not very pleasant to capture video with it. I also may make another video um, how to use this on Linux another day. But today we're going to look on uh, virtualization performance. So I already installed Windows 10 the other day. To run this um, from the command line without the help of any GUI tools, you just run QEMO system, enable KVM, I pass down four cores, four gigabyte, some user space NIC. I actually use a VMware kind of driver, so this will be quite GPU unaccelerated. Maybe another week I will play around with more GPU assistant virtualization for Windows, but I don't have the time for that today. But this already runs surprisingly snappy. We have a drive here. So this is some pretty basic advanced host controller interface, AHCI emulation. Again, you could also go more high performance here, but I'm not feeling like installing um, Word IO guest drivers in Windows right now. And then this still is the AHCI drive. And then I'm using a USB tablet for more convenient pointer interaction. Of course, usability-wise, you could use some word manager or something, but I actually like all the bare-bone command line stuff that you understand what's going on. Okay, let's start this up. And <clears throat> actually, for, for installation, I just had here a dash CD-ROM argument. So dash CD-ROM and then Windows install ISO something, EN international, whatever it was. So that's pretty simple as well. So let's start the VM up. And actually that's already started, booted within, I don't know, four seconds. Actually quite amazing. So this was not edited out or speed up. This Windows machine really booted in like four seconds, surprisingly enough. And the only reason I want to use this with Windows is to develop our Windows software. Aside from this, I have absolutely no use for Windows. I certainly want to run maintainable and secure Linux systems. But for developing and testing Windows software, I obviously need to have some Windows around. And let's start. Here is this Visual Studio Express 2015. And this also starts within seconds. This is not even the most high performance settings. You could use Word I.O. block devices and also potentially GPU assistant high performance graphic. But for software development, I found this uh, easy setting is quite enough. This project with some hundreds of files also loaded within some seconds and all the graphics here are surprisingly snappy. All the editing around. Let's scroll the whole file. This is not feeling slow at all. And even with some more fancy graphics going on with this barely accelerated graphics, it's actually not that slow. So this is all pretty usable, especially for software development. You can, uh, you can simply run your virtual machines here in Linux. You don't need a Mac and VMware for that. Just use this open source virtualization where you can review the code or even make changes and improvements. And yeah, this is, uh, this is totally usable, as you can see. The next weeks I may figure out some more high performance graphic settings, but this is already pretty neat. And uh, yeah, maybe we also run this, so... Just some test images in here. Certainly very pleasant to develop software like this. We are obviously using all the Linux virtualization on all our servers, but the last years I used VMware on Mac for the Windows development. 
And as you probably guessed from the other videos, I'm currently moving more and more away from Mac again because all the latest Mac OS updates are not convincing me so much. And it's certainly nice to be back on the Linux world and have all this stuff just working great and smooth and fast. So that's it for today. I hope you found this interesting and learned something about Linux virtualization. And it would certainly be great to see you back with the next video to come.